remember this moment from 18 years ago so vividly. That's me 18 years ago. I had just moved to San Diego and one of my first assignments was to find leper sharks at La Jolla Shore. As you can see Chopper 8, we found a ton. Uh, I said sharks, are you kidding me? You want me to find sharks? Our executive producer, Barb Richards, who still is here, told me, oh, they're harmless, they won't hurt you. So we went out and we were successful. This was long before the GoPro, smartphones, and water resistant video cameras, so this was a really big deal. Well, now those leopard sharks are back at La Jolla Shores, and after those big waves that we saw last week, we got a call from Everyday California to jump in today. So we sent Sean Stiles, and here's what he found. It is late summer and they have returned, the leopard sharks here at La Jolla Shores. I just talked to some folks that were in front of the marine room. They say there's some down there. Alexander from Everyday California is going to be our guide. Let's get going. They'll be right here in this area where we're standing, um, right in front of the marine room restaurant. Um, we call that Leopard Shark City. We were on the morning tour when the ocean tends to be calmer. Basically, it's an hour long tour. You're going to be in that water for an hour and really be able to see as much as you can. Of course, it's Mother Nature, so we can never predict what we're going to see out here. Or not. Today was a bust. However, being a savvy marketing coordinator for Everyday California, Alexandra Mir e. Turan had video from the past couple weeks. If you're looking for a swimming with shark experience, this is probably the easiest it's going to get. That's because the leopard sharks are here for a purpose. During the summer and into the early fall months, we see the migration of mostly female pregnant leopard sharks who come over to the La Jolla area to enjoy the warmer waters. They speed up their gestation period and they're actually able to give birth to their young um, a little bit sooner than a typical pregnancy for sharks. As far as becoming shark bait, not to worry. They're looking to scoop up uh, all of the little tiny crustaceans that are at the bottom of the ocean floor. So they're much better at grinding their teeth together to crunch the shells of the tiny uh, food that they eat rather than looking to uh, bite humans. And if you're new to snorkeling, Everyday California can get you in the water. Can really have that hands-on experience of us being able to show them how to do it, um, show them how to properly use their gear and where to go so that if they do want to come experience this again, um, they know where they're able to go see the leopard sharks. The guides will help you learn. And our tour guides are basically an information bank to be able to explain to people, you know, what they're seeing and um, how it really affects the greater ecosystem that we're enjoying here. Well, it is what it is. Today, not so many leopard sharks out here, but I got to tell you, I've done this many a time and I've seen literally hundreds of them. So if you miss out on them today, come back tomorrow and you just might find them, right? Just might. We'll send it back to you in the studio.